Um, the EOTouch application, if you guys can see, all see my iPad, I'm kind of dancing my background a little bit here. Um, looks like any other app. You would install it currently just by getting a link. The link will look something like this. And when you click on it, it'll pop up a box asking if it wants to install. So if you see something like this, it says ESR.com would like to install EOTouch. Then you click install and it just goes ahead. I'm going to choose cancel because I already have it set up on this device. In the future, once this comes off beta, we're going to have it deployable through mobile device manager like we do the other handheld devices. So to launch EOTouch, simply click on it and it'll open. This is the basic screen you'll see. To start your day, all you have to do is click sync and there will be a pop-up that says download or refresh cloud. I'm going to click download to start my day. Download is similar to full sync, but on this application it'll only say download unless there's something to upload. So when I revisit this later in the training, you'll see both options. I've had questions in the past about refresh cloud because it's not something you've seen before. Um, the refresh cloud option will update photos related to the chains and I'll show you that during the demonstration but it's not something you have to do every day um, sometimes it's confused some people so when it successfully sank it'll say you've newly downloaded data this took in this case 11 seconds click OK and you're ready to begin your day so from the main screen there's a few things to look at depending on how your company is set up where it says route 10130, that's actually the employee record for the database I'm using. It could say Joe salesperson. Um, you could also, some systems, have a route and then you can click on here and then sync to be somebody else. And this way now it says that I'm Bob and I'm running for route 10130. I'm going to switch back for this demonstration's sake and just stay as route 10130. But that's how you would change the user if you sync your mobile device as a user or as a route and then log in as the user. There's also an option to see goals. This database doesn't have it, but it would open here on the side and you can see a list of the goals assigned to the salesperson. Let me scroll a little so you guys can see it. Um, there's also cuts and recap. Cuts and recap will show a recap of your pending orders that are still in the system, they haven't been delivered, or pending to be delivered for the day. And click on it now, it'll probably display a bit more information towards the end of the training after we've gone through a day. But it will show me an order that I uploaded from this handheld before that is still pending. And it shows me what I ordered, what was cut off of it, as you can read on the top, cuts on pending orders as of last full sync. At the bottom it says data to be uploaded. There's nothing because I haven't done anything yet on this session, but it's a way you can revisit kind of your sales uh, that are on the active device. At the bottom there are two options for done for the day. Done for the day works similar to EO Tablet. Um, it has newly been incorporated to EO Touch. You may not have seen it before if you've been actively using it because the version I'm running today, 13.7.14, requires you to be on the newest quarterly release so you may not have been given this version unless you've upgraded already all right and archives the archives option i'll come back to at the end of the, the session when i kind of get into troubleshooting um i'm going to begin the day my route by clicking on route and it'll take me to the customer list all right so when i click clicked on route it takes me to my customer list and it's saying four customers on this day. There's a little calendar in the upper right hand corner uh, and when I click on that it'll make a pop-up appear. When the pop-up comes up it'll say give me the options to view all customers for my route. I can see just the customers for today or there's another option for other day and other day is really helpful for situations where, you know, Labor Day or Fourth of July or something like that, and you want to pick and look at, you know, oh, we missed last Thursday because of the Fourth of July, so on the 5th, I'm also covering those customers. 
I could click on other day and then go ahead and choose from the list a specific date and that would match not just the day of the week but the week of cycle for who I was supposed to visit. Again, for this scenario, I'm going to stick with what's listed as for today. So if I'm in route, I can see all my customers. I'm going to go ahead and choose this Walmart at the top of my list. Now that I'm in the customer screen, I have the option to start a new order. If there's any surveys available, they'll display in the surveys group. If I'm a company that does tap surveys, the taps will be here. There's receivables, business review, non-service reasons, more information, and edit list and locations. I'll go over some of the basics. Edit list and locations is one of the big things within EOTouch, so I'm going to come back around to it and get into that after we do basic order creation. But non-service reasons is pretty straightforward. You click on that, it'll show you the non-service reasons. I can say seasonal. It'll expand and let me enter a note if I need to. So I can type in that it's a golf course and it's closed. In this case, it's Walmart, so that doesn't make any sense. So I can click the X. I can just tap it again to deselect it and make my non-service reason go away. There's business review, and this screen may look a little different than you guys have been seeing if you've been using EOTouch. There's been some improvements to it. I can see sales by brand for this year and last year. Look at it. I've got some pie charts breaking out the brands for this given customer. I can even click on the pie chart. It'll show me some percentages. This displays slightly different on the iPad versus the iPhone because of screen real estate. All right. Um, you can look at receivables. The receivables list will show you credit statements and past due payments or past due invoices. You can scroll through and see dates. These orders don't currently break out and show you the entire order, but it can give your sales force if for some reason you've got notes on there saying, you know, COD only or they're on hold. They can look and see when the last payment was and what the balance is. So they're not just saying, there's a pop-up saying I can only do COD now. Um, under more information, you can put in a contact phone number. This is where you can update the liquor license. It also says directions. It has the address stored from the database. You can click on that and it'll launch the map application. Um, most of the sales force is probably used to where you're going, but we have that built in. It'd be great when people are you know covering for sick days and vacation time and stuff. All right, so I'm going to go in and start a new order. I'll come back and cover the surveys and taps and listen locations after that.